one of the things that's so amazing about Nightingale is that she was actually a nurse who saw nursing in all of the ways that we, we now know it. She was insisting on excellent care, knowing what we know, saying what we say, counseling, sharing, ministering, being with people from birth to death and all of their suffering. She was that kind of a nurse, a quintessential exemplary nurse. She called that sick nursing. <laughs> we, we have lived into that role in a phenomenal way. There's 22 million of us worldwide living into what she saw and exemplified for us. And that, in a way, is enough to celebrate her bicentenary. However, she was so much more than that, and that's also important. She talked about health nursing as well as sick nursing. And for that, she was living into advising leaders, helping to literally take the country of India, and the country of Australia, the country of Canada, and other parts of, of actually Japan, and other parts of the British Empire in her time, leaders of those places, she was working with them to change the conditions that would keep people healthy. She was literally working like an international health minister today. She called that health nursing. And one of my favorite quotes from her comes from that. She said, health is not only to be well, but to use well every power that we have to use. Everything. And now, she was writing all of these letters. She wrote 14,000 letters that we have in her hand in collections around the world and 200 books. That she, we, if we could say, we have 14,000 letters of her writing with her signature what if she had YouTube today? What would we do with YouTube in her name? That's part of the question that we can ask in 2020. So that's one way to understand the value of Nightingale in her time.